and welcome back to the Surly Series and this is Let's Play Parasite Eve. On the last week we collected 300 junk so we could get a P90, a rather powerful machine gun from me. Skip through that video. This is the continuation of the story. I went to the hospital to stop E from making this ultimate being. And we get another good luck charm. I still don't know what they're really used for. In Parasite Eve 2, these charms actually help Aya a lot. Some increasing her defense, her attack, and some influencing the item drop from the enemies. Anyway, we got a tool back there. Sadly, these charms don't do anything on the first game. Lock. That's the P90. We're gonna use that. And it seems Aya Brea is rather obsessed with Maya, her dead younger sister. Seems to be hallucinating. So 
So New York City's hope against Eve is a rookie female cop who hallucinates about her dead younger sister. I feel so safe already. Looks like Eve doesn't want Ayabrea to be going anywhere. She could have just killed her already, dropped the entire building on her. But no! I guess we won't be using the stairs. For a supposed horror game, this game isn't as scary as it seems. Except maybe for the music and the grotesque cinematics every now and then. Fuse one. That was pretty obvious. It's the point of searching for keys and items when the key item actually glows and tells you where it is. Grenade lighter with a tranquilizer. Nah, we'll just stick with the machine gun. Oh, this are new. Some kind of uh, gel like thing. And I just knew weapon just made quick work out of them. The attack and the bullet capacity of the V90 is quite impressive. Although limited to about 7 slots. Blue card key. Yeah, it's blinking blue. That's pretty obvious. Nothing here. Guess that key goes with that room back there. And we get a medicine tree. This room obviously has an enemy. It's big enough to house one of those alligators. Defense one. Yeah, that's always good. 
Yep. Oh, poison. Since the hospital has some gel-like enemies and giant bugs that spit poison saliva. Now oh, that's good. Unless we won't have to carry some useless key anymore. I automatically discards the keys. And two flies. And we gotta level up. Yeah, I guess those gel like things carry ammo as well, whatever those are. Offense one. And we got another tool. I'm wondering if I should combine something. I is obviously going to be carrying too much soon. She has very limited inventory. No, this is new. Oh, they're a kangaroo. Sure have like one. Well, that's one dead kangaroo or whatever it was. Blue card key. For a horror RPG, the clues are pretty easy to find. And more of that glowing fuse? Yeah, it's a fuse. It seems fuses glow in the dark. Nothing here. Nothing there either. Thinking maybe I could borrow one of those suits. They could protect you from poison or maybe radiation if there's ever a status effect like that. Two more bugs or flies or whatever they are. Yeah, figured I have a big cabin too much. Try combining some.
the tranquilizer looks so good but I'm going to wait for a even better status effect later on the game I don't want to use up a slap And super tools are pretty rare. And this is where the blue card goes. I'm gonna save it here. On the next video, we'll find out where those fuses go and see if we can get Aya out of this trap he got her into.